I'd like to say a big thank you to Caroline from Smitten Cosmetics for being the sponsor of the show today. And I just wanted to show you quickly before you go some of her gorgeous products. This is a lip paint and it's really cool. You can see it's got a little light in it so when you're at the disco or the nightclub they call it these days, you can put it on with a little mirror there too. And these are fantastic gifts for bridesmaids, for the brides, just to let you know. And we also have an amazing gorgeous serum that you can put on under your makeup to get that bridal glow. Plus the beautiful, beautiful Complexion Perfection uh, TV coverage. So when you're doing brides, uh, when you're doing your bridal makeup, you do need a bit of extra coverage, but this looks like it's really natural. So Complexion Perfection TV coverage, that's the beautiful foundation that Caroline has made with um, Perth makeup artists. So not forgetting Caroline's actually a Perth brand and she works really hard. She's an amazing person. And then for the brows, if you don't have one already, she has a gorgeous retractable brow uh, liner, so you can make the little strokes and you can fill in if you like the Insta brow look as well. So that's uh, that's from Caroline, and she's uh, www.smittencosmetics.com.au. And thank you again. And Shelly Meyer style it's our second show and it's all about bridal trends this season because it's October it's wedding season now so I'm with Perlin and she's an amazing makeup artist hairstylist graphic designer photographer uh, she does uh, hair extensions she's now doing brows and uh, so what's coming through Perlin with the brows with the weddings well with brows at the moment I found that most people like natural looking brows right. uh, but they do want it defined so they like the full of fronts they like the, their brows are slightly thicker a yeah. nice defined tail um, so yeah basically a nice groomed brow but right. okay but not with thin. a bit more texture a bit softer more natural yes coming through yeah. so not quite the bushy brows we had no. back you know a few decades ago but the more modern, it's a bit more groomed looking, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. like the modern groomed brushed brow sort yeah, of, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So is it um, quite a dramatic look? Like will you, you know, see your eyebrows first or is it no, no. harmonious? Yeah, um, you, you want it to match with everything else you've, you've got on your uh, face as well. Okay. Um, being a bridal, you kind of don't want your brows to come down the aisle before you do. No, I know. Exactly. <laughs> I know. So um, you want it to be groomed so that it, it is nice, but at the same time you don't want it to be the focus. Okay, and so you, I know you've made this particular product because it's an add-on what you're doing. Yes. And it's called O-Brow. Yeah, so I called it O-Brow. Um, the reason why I called it O-Brow is because actually it's quite funny because my partner is actually Kiwi and he always calls me Obro. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a play on words and I also put the the W like in pink because I just thought oh yeah girl but also it could be for guys so okay. it can be for um, you know grooming brows for the men they as well. It. They do yeah. like my partner's brows are all over the place sometimes so it's just nice to put a bit of this product in it holds it in place it's yeah. clear so you can't see it so they can't say oh my goodness you've done my brows. So um, gone are the days of the hair spray on the spoolie. Yes. You don't need to do that now. Well no because you know some people like you know when they spray it they could spray it too close to their face I mean I know people like to use spray on their face as well but it this is it this is more user friendly and it's totally yeah. clear and it looks a bit like uh, a gel like a set gel doesn't it yeah well it's basically like a soap yeah. but it's also maybe it's got a bit, a bit of a hold like a wax yeah so um yeah it's clear it dries clear uh, and it's really really easy to use so okay, you, know, cool. you don't have to be a pro to use it either. Oh, so can you just take us through the process before we see yeah. the demonstration sure so generally you'll start with a spoolie or um an eyebrow brush yes. um i like it wet because okay. obviously it activates the product you okay. can use water like you can just run it under the tap or you can use like a mist or a spray or some sort okay. um fix plus yeah. so you just spritz it so it's all nice and wet and then the product is clear so you rub it across the top okay 
And as you rub it, you can sort of see that it, it picks up onto the brush. Okay, you don't need much of that at all, No, do you? not really, not, okay. not at all. I mean, obviously, the more you put on there, it's going to get quite chunky, so yeah, you don't you want don't, to put too so, much. So less is more. Yes, yeah. yeah, so yeah. then you just brush it through. And like you said, if you find that you need more, you can just put rub, yeah. rub it across there. So maybe for men, they might need a little bit more. Exactly. But the brides will keep it simple and... And they can do it themselves easily. Yeah. Yeah. You just follow your uh, the shape of your hair depending yeah. on where you want it. If you yeah. want it to look fuller, you brush it up because yeah. obviously when you bring your hairs up, it's going to look fuller. Okay. Um, and then you just follow the way your hair grows yeah. and then um, follow it down the tail. Okay, so, beautiful. Yeah. So you're saying it's a gel. When we do, when we think of gel, it's usually got like a wet look. Will yeah. this have some sort of a look like that? No, because it's not actually a gel. It's actually a soap base. Right. So if you think about soap, soap's quite matte. matte. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's a matte look. You don't okay. particularly want shiny, okay. so right. shiny jelly yeah, no, sort of looking brows. Okay, let's <laughs> no. have a look. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you how we use the O brow. You've just got a spoolie. Usually we like to wet it. You can use um, water or I use the Smitten's Mist. So you just need to make sure you just wet the end. The eyebrow is clear, so you just need to rub it on top. Don't have to do it too hard. It's really easy, and then you just brush it through the brow. What it does is, is it just creates a bit of thickness and volume to the brow. And then on the other side. So what you do is just um, pull the hairs in the direction that you really want it to go. And it's really simple to use. So Obrow is launching soon. Um, there will be a website, obrow.com.au. There's also Instagram, um, obrow.com.au as well. So if you are interested in getting one, you just need to go onto the Instagram and register in your interest. So thanks for showing us that, Pearlyn. That's really interesting Yeah. because you're telling me these have been around for a long time and I didn't know that. Yeah, so yeah. They really have cool. been. Like, soap, soap brows is not a new thing, so people can say it's not, it's not a new idea. But um, in saying that, the great thing about this particular soap brow as well is that it is um, vegan, um, so you know people who are a bit more aware about products that aren't plant-based. That's the great thing about okay. it. Um, and also another thing I forgot to mention when I was doing the demo is you can actually fill in your brows after. So after okay. you've sort of you know um, shaped your brows, you can yep. fill it in, yep. um, or you can do it vice versa. So okay. you can fill it in first and then okay. groom okay. it. Oh, yeah. awesome! Well, that's really a good tip for brides. They yep. can now have beautiful feathery looking full um, eyebrows yeah. and so where can they get it? Well, it hasn't actually launched yet, so it's going to be launched soon. Okay. Um, I'm so it's the have first a... time you're seeing it? Yes, oh, that's exciting. it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so there'll be a website, obrow.com.au. Okay. I've oh, already good. got an Instagram out there called yep. obrow.com.au. Okay. Um, so anybody who is interested can also send um, a message through yep. that and oh, register wonderful. the interest. Okay, and so be, yeah, a website. it'll be out there soon? Soonish, yeah, yeah. As yeah. okay. soon as okay. I get a website up and running, All it right. will be out there and people okay. can have a look. Oh, awesome. And yeah. thanks for coming on and letting us know all about this. This is exciting. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to be having Jen Star makeup coming up. Just wait a second and she'll be here. It's, uh, we're now talking to Jennifer Carl from Jen Star Makeup and I'm just talking to her about brides so but we're going to get to that in a minute first of all um, your makeup career is really quite fascinating um, yes yeah, probably uh, just under a decade now and I've been doing film and TV mainly um, I was sort of had a corporate job and that's sort of finished now and now I've got more, more time I'm focusing more on brides so TV makeup, would we see you any work that you've done? Yeah, um, there's things like Greenfield that came out a couple of years ago. Greenfield, that was quite, yeah, yeah. It's quite a long, yeah. uh, um, good And I think, were you on the couch as well? Uh, no, Sweet and Sour. Sweet and Sour. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, I remember that show. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what made you want to then move into the bridal industry? Oh, a lot of the, um, the TV show programs, they sort of aren't going anymore, those ones. So film is a bit different. You only certain times they'll go for, whereas brides have a, you know, they have a season. So yeah. Can really sort of you know focus that the, the, this part of the year I can start getting I can just look at helping brides. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a lot of experience in um, with the TV stuff that I think relates to brides and that I don't often see some makeup artists think about. So 
I want to try and bring that to brides so the day is you know, extra special. Okay, so and the, we're talking about trends today. Mm -hmm. What's a trend that you see coming through with brides this season? Well, for me, I think this is the same trend that I see every year with brides, and that's just have fantastic skin. Fantastic, yeah, glowing, skin. beautiful skin. Just beautiful skin. It starts there, really, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yeah, and it yeah. goes from there. Because it's all about that such an exciting day and... And they, they've been looking forward to it for so long. They do have a glow anyway, don't mm -hmm, they? Mm -hmm. So your work is to maybe emphasise that? Yeah, it's bringing out that natural beauty. And brides want, I think brides want to just look like themselves, but yeah. a more beautiful version yeah. of themselves. Yeah. Um, so what I'll try and do is, you know, be able to, you know, use colour correcting techniques and stuff like that where I can, you know, know what colours will make their eyes pop and, you know, if they've, you know, contour their face and things like yeah. that. And so the challenges for brides where, with their makeup on the day, what are those? Um, I think that if they have a good skincare program uh, beforehand and they, they do something like that, it'll actually help with the application of the makeup and help with the products that can be used on their skin to make it last long, you know, all day. Okay. Is there something that you do that's special that helps it stay all day? Well, it's, it's really, it really comes down to the skin. If they've got good skin, okay. then the ingredients and the products that I can use on them and the, yeah. and the different types of foundations can provide that long, yeah. longevity for So them. what's your advice to the brides at home to get this lovely skin? Um, well, they can come and do like a class with me. You do classes? <laughs> yeah, I do yep. um, classes on it. Yep. Um, but obviously at, a, at the wedding preview, that's yep. where I would talk about that, you know, show them the products that I would use and okay. make recommendations on that in right. advance so they, they've got a program. You do a skin analysis. What are some common problems that you find with brides? Oh, you often find that, you know, they're so nervous they don't get much sleep. Um, uh, they, you know, can break out with acne and stuff, you know, a couple of days Due before. Due to stress, yeah. 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 Different reasons, so. Yeah. And what about like what do you what do you say to them like that, to give them confidence that you can help them on the day? Well, that's why I recommend like the wedding preview, and right. that's where we discuss all those sort of things. I do a skin analysis yeah. of their face and yeah. find out what problems they have with the skin, um, and then offer solutions to them that they can use in the lead up to the wedding so that their skin is clear. Okay, so they have great confidence that they know that they're in good hands with you. Yeah, so I find out what the issues that they have had and try and fix them for them. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Mm. Great. Makeup's amazing, isn't it? It, can it do, is good. It can do anything. It is good, yeah. but the better the skin, then the better the application of the makeup. No, I definitely have to have good canvas. So I mm -hmm. agree. And, and with, with brides, it's all about that glowing smile, that glowing skin. Yep. That's what you're here to help them with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yep. awesome. So if, if brides want to get in contact with you, how do they do that? Um, they can email me, genstar.makeup at gmail.com. Okay. Um, and I've got a Facebook page and Instagram, genstarmakeup. Yeah. And you've got lots of pictures you can show them of what's coming up and what's the, na the latest looks, but also you cater it to them, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I've got, um, I'll, I'll speak to the bride to be and, you know, find out what their personality is like, things like that. Yeah. So that, yeah. you know, you want them to be comfortable yeah. and a more beautiful version of themselves. And harmonious with the, you know, the flowers and the gown and. And the bridesmaids, it's, there's a lot to consider, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. All that stuff's, you know, discussed yeah. at the preview. And yeah, awesome. What so what's the, the highlight of working with weddings for you? I think that sometimes you'll get um, a bride who is so amazed at how she looks and she never thought that she could feel like and, and be as beautiful as what you're bound to make her. Yeah. Um, that is very rewarding that you've got that ability to make someone, you know, have that those emotions so the tears that often come with yeah that I'm like don't cry you really yeah, make yeah. it <laughs> no, yeah, but, um, <laughs> yeah but you know when they're that emotional over what you've done how they look yes yeah. it's, it's they look like them but it's the most beautiful version they've seen exactly and I always said you want the husband to recognize you coming down the aisle as oh, well yeah. 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 yeah 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 but it sounds like you do a beautiful job with them Jen and I know you just said you had a website it's coming it's gonna be launching soon yep yeah, it's www.genstarmakeup.com okay awesome thank you so much Jen awesome thank you don't go anywhere because next up we have Sharon Wilkesbert from Truly Gorgeous talking about wedding hair. It's exciting. So welcome back. Here we have Sharon Wilkesbert from Truly Gorgeous, and we're talking about bridal trends. Sharon, we're having a great show about bridal trends. Cool. What, uh, but first, your background. You're a hairdresser. Yes, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm a hairdresser. I, I trade. I've been 
doing it for about 30 years, yeah, which upsets okay. me because I'm about 25 with my okay, head. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm somewhere, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's where my, that's where my training started, and about, um, about 18 years ago, I trained to be a makeup artist as well, so makeup I do, do bridal so you do hair both? and makeup, yes. Brides are looking for that now, people that do both. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's good to kind of be able to, it's nice to be able to kind of get the whole package, basically. It so. is, and so hairstyling, you... Yeah, that's what your main focus is now? It is, yeah. So bridal hair styling, um, which I also um, do training for as well. So I try and do bridal hair workshops as well. But um, yeah, I mean, bridal hair at the moment is beautiful. I mean, there's some really gorgeous hairstyles around at the moment. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of softness still. Yeah, yeah, yeah very much so. Um, some years ago, the, the styles were much more structured. Mm. But today, there's those beautiful, loose, romantic, soft, undone kind of styles, which are all over Pinterest. And they're, you know. But they can loosen can't they what's the challenges uh, with the softness there's, okay there's it's, a few challenges there isn't there <laughs> it's all a bit of smoke and mirrors basically yes. so it's kind of made to look soft but there's a lot of double pinning and there's a lot of um, mechanics goes on behind and of course okay. things like adding in hair extensions to get that volume and that right. um, you know that extra length and all those things that we need so it, it, there's a bit of smoke and mirrors to that softness okay so there's a cascade look mm -hmm. but there's a whole team of things happening inside yeah, there yeah well. absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's kind of made it's made to look like you're just going to pull out a pin and shake your hair and look like a Hollywood goddess. Yes, but it's not actually. <laughs> that's not like the reality of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure um, you do, Shelley. Now I've got no hair. Um, but if if the brides want to do it at home, yeah. Is there some things that they can do to help them get these soft looks? Oh, yeah, certainly. I think, I mean, I think if you can, adding in hair extensions, first of all, for the majority of people, because when they see these styles on Pinterest, you know, most of those styles have got hair extensions yeah. added into them for yeah. certain. Um, and I think being able to curl the hair, so if you've got um, a pair of um, tongs or, you know, um, curling iron or um, even um, straighteners, then you can get your curls into your hair. Your curl will give movement and it'll give some kind of, it also gives you some control as well. So That's, if you're trying yeah. to curl your own yeah. hair, yeah. curl your hair first. Yeah. Um, but certainly getting the curl, it will give you that movement. It will start to create that softness. And then it's just a case of pinning it into shape. So you've okay. kind of got the star that you see and then it's pinning it into shape. But yeah. really, to kind of get that solid, it ain't going to move, <laughs> then you're probably we need to get the pros in for that but that's but certainly that's you know you can true. get your um you can yeah. create something like yeah. it but you're just going to show us too how to put extensions in because yeah it's not that difficult no and no we've got not some sure. some beautiful hair extensions from red carpet today that yeah. you're going to show us yeah so before we do that can you just give us a look at these beautiful extensions and how you actually do use them and unclip them and what happens? Yeah, absolutely. Basically, they've got like a little um, band on the back there, and it's got these little cones in there, which basically snap back on themselves. You okay, so you in. clip them in and out? Yeah, you basically just kind of attach them right close to the scalp, where you've got your like a bit of back comb or whatever to hold it in place, and snap them into position. And they okay. basically just snap in and then snap out at the end of the night. There's no kind of having to go and get them put in specially at the salon or anything mm -hmm. like that. They're completely... You know, take them in, take them out. Oh, great! Superb. And so, so I know there's lots of different extensions. Uh, what would you recommend? Okay, I think literally um, every single time you have to go for. 100% human hair. And if why you, is that? What's going to happen if you don't? Good question. Because if you <laughs> definitely think that it's not 100% human hair, it's probably means it's synthetic and it's going to make a lovely sizzling sound as you apply okay. your hot you tools and You don't want to have a sizzling sound on your You don't want a sizzling day. sound. No, no it's yeah. not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure that they're 100% um, they're human hair or 100% Remy extensions, okay. which is like human hair, basically. And is there something about sometimes the cuticles are the wrong way? With um, yeah, I mean, so with the um, Remy extensions, certainly that just means that the cuticles are all kind of facing the same way and they should be facing down because obviously that's what gives you a beautiful shine at the end okay, of the day. Okay. So if you get hair extensions where they're kind of, you get that sort of rough matte look to them, mm -hmm. they're probably not all facing the same way as they should okay. be. Okay, and that just means that the cuticle, uh, well, the imbrications of the hair, if they're facing the wrong way and you're combing down and you do a little bit of back combing, they can actually get very, very matted. Yeah, yeah. So you, you so just want to make like sure scales. you get this beautiful quality like these ones. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Let's go and have a look and see what you have to do. Let's do it. So we're going to start off tracing a little bit of back comb at the roots. And add in a little bit of volume powder. That just makes it nice and tacky so you can get the extensions in better. So just pop those there. They've got the little clips underneath. So you just clip them in and snap the clip back right next to the scalp. And because it's got all that back comb, it's not going anywhere. 
Okay, you take your next section down. Nice clean sections. And we're just going to repeat the same process. We're just going to back comb it at the roots. Again, we're just going to add a little bit more volume powder, make it nice and tacky so those extensions don't go anywhere. And again, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to use the comb, we're going to press it next to the scalp, and we're going to snap them into place. That basically, you can continue all the way up with that, and that basically adds a nice bit of extra length and volume to help you create a lot of those fuller um, styles. Oh, thanks for that. That really helps people at home to know what to do. And um, I know that you also you do your own workshops. Mm. Um, but if brides want to get hold of you for their wedding day, what, what do, where do they go? Okay, so I've got my website, which is www.trulygorgeous.com. Um, I know, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've also got um, Instagram, which is Truly Gorgeous Brides, and Facebook, Truly Gorgeous Brides. So it's all, all truly gorgeous. Okay, truly gorgeous. <laughs> that does sound yeah. like a nice sort of goal to have for your wedding that's day, the to aim. look truly gorgeous. Absolutely. So that's awesome. So, well, just on weddings, like, what's your favourite thing before we go? What do you love? Uh, I think similar to makeup, it's just that power to transform. It's just that ability to kind of make somebody look how they never thought they could and, you know, and, and keeping it soft and romantic and just looking like the best version of themselves, hair, makeup, brows, the works. Yes, oh, that sounds lovely. And then, then they put the gown on and they yeah, all smile. it's so beautiful. And they're off. And it's yeah. always such an honour to be a part of it, it truly is. It is, it is. It is very, uh, it's yeah. very much like that. Yeah. And um, brides that pick you... Um, do so because they they think you're going to take care of them, and obviously you do. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's a confidence thing. Oh, lovely. Oh, well, Good. thanks for coming on the show and sharing pleasure. that with us. <laughs> thanks, Sharon. Good. So thanks for watching the show today. It was lots of fun. Hope you got lots of tips and tricks. And please comment below for anything you'd like to know or see in the future. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much. I'd like to say a big thank you to Caroline from Smitten Cosmetics for being the sponsor of the show today. And I just wanted to show you quickly before you go some of her gorgeous products. This is a lip paint. And it's really cool. You can see it's got a little light in it. So when you're at the disco or the nightclub, they call it these days, you can put it on with a little mirror there too. And these are fantastic gifts for bridesmaids, for the brides, just to let you know. And we also have an amazing, gorgeous serum that you can put on under your makeup to get that bridal glow plus the beautiful beautiful complexion perfection uh, TV coverage so when you're doing brides uh, when you're doing your bridal makeup you do need a bit of extra coverage but this looks like it's really natural so complexion perfection TV coverage that's the beautiful foundation that Caroline has made with um, Perth makeup artists so not forgetting Caroline's actually a Perth brand and she works really hard. She's an amazing person. And then for the brows, if you don't have one already, she has a gorgeous retractable brow uh, liner. So you can make the little strokes and you can fill in if you like the Insta brow look as well. So that's uh, that's from Caroline. And she's uh, www.smittencosmetics.com.au. And thank you again. And we'll see you next time. Bye.